Hey, what's up, guys? I don't know if you missed it, but if you did, you're crazy. A.J. Fletcher on Dana White's Contender Series landed an absolutely insane flying knee. He baited his opponent up against the fence and then launches this devastating flying knee, gets the KO, and then more important than that, the celebration that his hometown of Louisiana has afterwards in the bar. Tables are flipping. Beers are splashing everywhere. You've, you've got to check that out. But now, on March 12th, A.J. Fletcher will be taking on Matthew Semmelsberger, another knockout artist who's got a knockout in 14 seconds. Reminder, March 12th, those two are going at it. It's not going to go 15 minutes. It's going to be insanity. And if it does go 15 minutes, you're welcome. Okay? Now, yet again, if you missed this Contender Series fight and the crazy Louisiana celebration that went on afterwards, take a look. Fight. And we are underway. This fight clock brought to you by Zip. Recruiter. Damiani in the red shorts and Fletcher Ooh. in the dark trunks. Low leg kick early by Fletcher. Oh, my goodness. Already you can see AJ Fletcher moving around a lot differently than Damiani. Damiani is much more of a stalk and then explode. He tends to kind of throw just one shot at a time, though, and yeah. it would be important for him to put those combinations together. Yeah, you see him already winding up for that big right hand. Good, good job here from Fletcher early, too. Throwing just a little bit of feints, and you see it's already getting reactions out of Damiani. Yeah, that level change, you could see the uh, the hands of Damiani go low because, as you said, Paul, despite having zero wrestling background, A.J. Fletcher has some nasty takedowns. Yeah, so fast with him. And I already like that Fletcher's doing some solid work on that lead leg of Damiani that has already switched stances for a second. He went back to a oh, oh, There's that double leg. There's there. There's a takedown. Perfect timing on that. And that's what he does. He does a really good job of baiting his opponents into swinging big, then he level changes right underneath of them. It's probably a little early for a GSP reference, but <laughs> another guy who didn't wrestle who had great wrestling. Very true. A little premature. Started training in 2015, did A.J. Fletcher when he realized he wasn't going to be able to play college football. We've heard that a lot of times before. Started at LSU for school and then transferred to U University of Louisiana Lafayette so he could train in mixed martial arts at Gladiators Academy. Didn't like making that drive anymore. Worked out perfectly for him. All right, good job there from Damiani to get back up to his feet. Wasted no time. I mean, Fletcher got the takedown, but he quickly worked his way back up. I think you mentioned this before we came on air, Paul, but A.J. Fletcher a little bit small for this division, and you could kind of see it there with the cage wrestling where there was a little bit more physicality from the yeah. side of Damiani. A.J. Fletcher couldn't, you know, get a foot sweep or anything that, you know, would allow him to get him down to the mat. And they're listed at the same height, and I don't, eh, I don't buy that. I don't buy that either. Um, and I was waiting. Ooh. Ooh, see, there's some of the spinning attacks from Fletcher, and I was waiting for Damiani to start throwing his leg kicks because in his fights, he does tend to throw a lot of hard oh, 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 What a finish Let's take a look at the replay. Boom! Man, wow. flying knee right to the jaw of Damiani. Puts him out, icing on the cake with the punches. <laughs> That is a good way to start off the night, Dan. That is impressive. His sixth first round finish as he improves to 9-0 and in his career. The difference in this one, wow, that was Man, so clean. That's, just as, that's as clean and as perfect a rear flying knee as you can do. Let's take a look at Dana's. <laughs> Mick and Sean and Dana, wow, all had the same reaction in this place. Just went uh, bananas. <laughs> oh my God, stuff is flying everywhere. But there's tables. <laughs> That's incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Tonioni has called a stop to this bout at two minutes and 24 seconds of round number one, declaring the winner by knockout, AJ Fletcher. Yes, sir. Congratulations, sir. Thank you.